What's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? Courtney. I want to do this video directly, strictly for you carpet cleaners. Guys, listen up, okay? I know I encourage and I inspire you, a lot of you, to start your YouTube channels, and I see a lot of you doing it, and I'm grateful that you guys are doing this because, again, it's going to build up a resume. I use YouTube. My purpose of YouTube is to use a resume to point my customers or my potential customers into the direction of if they want to, you know, see my services or if I want to, you know, convince them or show them how good uh, I can, you know, do the job. That's what my page is for. And it has turned into other opportunity, which I am grateful for. But I will say one thing about these videos, guys, is be careful because um, a lot of people will watch your videos and they will become uh, they will become very picky about how you do your process. And when I say this is that as a cleaner, you are a professional. You are a true professional. OK, and don't let anyone make you think you're not, especially when you know what you're doing. And um, so when I say this is that sometimes I get these comments and I get these messages from just, you know, people who just watch the videos. Oh, why you didn't do this? And why you didn't do that? Why you didn't use this tool? And why you didn't use that tool? Oh, you didn't do it right. Uh, and, and it just goes on and on and on to the point where you just got to ignore it. Okay. But what I'll say is that, you know, guys, for example, when you go to a dentist, the dentist has all his tools laid out. But do you ask the dentist why he didn't use this tool or why he didn't use that tool? When you call a handy band, you call a plumber, electrician. They come into your house to perform a service. Do you ask them why they didn't use all those tools? No, you don't. Okay. Why? Why? Because you respect them as a professional. And that's the same way uh, you as a cleaner should be respected as a professional. So my thing is, guys, you know, when it comes to um, your profession, if you know what you're doing, that, that reason people shouldn't have to uh, or you shouldn't worry about people questioning you because you know what uh, you had to do for that particular job. I have every tool in my van that I need only for certain situations. I don't go to a job to pull out every tool, okay? And sometimes it's cleaners, and we all know this, it's cleaners, you'll start buying tools that you really don't need. Because again, it's like new toys for us. I remember I bought, I bought so many tools, guys, that I end up selling these tools for less than what I bought it for. Because I just didn't need it, but you just want it. You see other cleaners using it. Oh, I gotta have, I gotta have it. And next thing you know, you just got this tool sitting in your garage, in your warehouse, on your van for months, turns in, uh, turn into years, and like it's just sitting there, you know, rotting. So my thing is, man, carpet cleaners, be careful. If you know what you're doing, if you understand what you're doing, you know, you shouldn't be forced to do something that's not necessary. That's when I go to that's why when I go to my jobs, my customers watch my videos, but I'm the professional. So I dictate what I'm going to do for this job. My customers do not tell me how to do my job because if they did, hey, well maybe I shouldn't be here. OK, so my customers respect me as a professional. They don't say, oh, Courtney, why you didn't use the CRB on my carpet? You use it in the other carpets. Oh, Courtney, why you didn't use this? Why you didn't use this product? You know, why why, why you didn't use the high pH product or like you didn't, you know, because, again, every job doesn't require the same process. You know, it's like, for example, uh, people who don't understand cleaning, uh, they'll say, why you didn't agitate the carpets? OK, uh, well. Technically, if you're using a truck mount or a portable, that pressure that, that's released from your machines, from the machine, that is agitation. But a lot of people who don't understand cleaning, they don't know that. Pressure is agitation, okay? It's just a different form of agitation, but it's in the, the category of agitation. So when people don't see you CRB or they don't see you scrub the carpets, uh, they feel like you're not doing your job, but technically you are. And when it comes to this whole CRB thing, man, I know a lot of people like to see it, you know, but the CRB isn't new. It's not, it's actually, oh, it's older than me. No, the CRB 
technology has been around for a year, way before I even started cleaning. It, they just they just made it look different. But anybody who who's in this industry and they understand the history of carpet cleaning, the, the CRB is nothing new. It's been around for years. Um, it, it was a machine called the host and they actually had one that was older than that. But th th this technology has been around for years. Um, it was actually designed for dry compound cleaning, but they made it a little different where we can use it also with wet wetting agents. So it's nothing new guys, you know? Um, so that's the thing, man. I wanted this to really direct this video towards the cleaners. Okay. If you know what you're doing, you understand what you're doing. Okay. You're educated. Um, you, you, you understand your craft. You be, you be the, uh, decider of how you do these jobs. Okay. You be the professional of how you perform your job. Because again, time is money and you don't have time uh, to be wasting doing unnecessary steps that you don't need. All right. All right, guys, to the next time. See you in the next one.